Hey everyone, Katherine King here. And today we're gonna go through what I have been warming, getting through, whatever. I have to sit forward on my chair because Pookie is sitting behind me on the chair. Butter is underneath in his cat bed. So we're gonna get started. Hope We'll see if Pookie stays. She's so silly. Oh, see her little tail? There she is. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about since I didn't really do, um, uh, I didn't go through a haul and show you the Sensepiration kit. She's licking the back of my arm, pookie. Um, so I did pick up two of the Sensi Sensepiration kits. Um, it is in this beautiful, beautiful box. So if you're just giving like a gift and you don't want to wrap it, just tape, tape it down and off you go. So I don't think it gives the price. It does not. So perfect. Then you don't have to scribble out a price. Um, okay, so I did pick up two of these. Um, I did pick it up on the first day. They did sell out for consultants. This will launch on the 14th, roughly 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I want to give you my warm reviews of this collection. I have warmed it. I warmed it kind of in, I guess you could say, my test zone, which is my office at work. So the lid just comes off. <laughs> itchy nose still if you just watched my last one you'll know I have an itchy nose and then it comes with a 3d scent circle now this 3d scent circle for all the kits comes with uh candy cane buttercream I put it in and it's funny I was watching someone and I don't remember who it was sorry but I don't remember they said that they felt that if the scent circle itself was smooth that the scent dissipates faster very well could be because this is a very smooth scent circle. Um, and I, I was thinking if it still said scent circle, it does. Even though it goes into the shape of a snowflake, one day. I put it in my car, I think on before I went to work, I hung it in my car. I smelled it a little bit that afternoon when I was heading home from work. Didn't smell it beyond that. So um, I do have it in my empties. So this is what it looks like. So very cute. Zero scent. I mean, zero, none, nada. It's, to me, this is a waste of money, personally. Now this kit, the kit itself in this box with the scent circle is $26. If you want just the scents themselves, it's $20 for the four. I think that's what it is. $20 for the four. Or you can add the scents into a bundle of six for the $30. So the six for 30 instead of the um, the four for, I, I think it is 20. Anyway, up to you whether or not you want the box or them in, or like that. This is a waste of money, complete waste of money. I just, I wouldn't recommend it. I'll, I'll be honest. I'm, I, it's funny. I've been saying that a lot today. I'll be honest. Uh, this, mm -mm, no, but let's go through, go ahead and go through the scents. Now this, these, you'll see that these are full bars because the, um, the ones that I have been warming are at work. So first one, what started it all, vanilla bean buttercream. Fantastic, fantastic scent. To me, very strong, very vanilla very buttercream. So if you've ever made, I make just American version of buttercream. Actually, I mix it up a little bit. A bag of powdered sugar, two cubes of butter, a brick of cream cheese, a little bit of milk, and a little bit of vanilla if you don't care about the color. Um, I think you can get white vanilla or clear vanilla. I'm not sure. But if you add um, you know, regular vanilla to your buttercream, it's going to taint it a little bit brown. So up to you, but that's that's how I make my buttercream. Yes, it has cream cheese in it. So this smells just like regular American buttercream. I don't I don't make Italian buttercream or any of the others, but that's what this smells like, American buttercream. It's delicious, insanely sweet. So if really, this whole collection, I'm gonna warn you, is in, insanely sweet. So if sweet is too much for you, I suggest maybe mixing it with something to maybe tone down the sweetness. Maybe it's something savory. As you know, I mix my scents. To me, I think any of these would be really good with zucchini bread. Okay. 
Oh, my nose. Okay, next one, caramel buttercream. You have that insanely sweetness of the buttercream, and then you have that rich uh, decadence of the caramel. This was so sweet. Actually, I kind of did like a caramel off in a way, um, trying three different uh, caramel blends, vanilla. Oh, it was in the Bream Back My Bar, I think. It was like a vanilla caramel. It was a vanilla caramel scent and toffee butter crunch. And this one, toffee butter crunch is the only one that's staying in my club because it had a, it was more layered and more decadent to me. This is just really sweet caramel. Reminds me a little bit of the party light caramel candle. I haven't had one in forever. I don't even know if I have any of the little, they ended up putting them in, in the tea lights. I think I may have one. It'd be interesting to smell that against this, but really rich, creamy, very delicious caramel, but I would have to mix this with a savory because it is so strong in the sweetness. The next one was gingerbread buttercream. So I'm sure you've seen videos of people, you know, talking about this collection. So I'm not going to go like in depth, but this one, you really get that ginger in this scent. Uh, so if you're sensitive to ginger, I would maybe... May, I don't know, maybe mix it with a uh, more buttercream, but to me that would make it way too sweet, but maybe a sugar cookie, or I was actually thinking, um, and it, these two maybe mix with oats and honey if you have that in your collection. I have it in my collection, it's in my club. So I think this mixed with like oats and honey would be really nice. I, I think would be really good with zucchini bread. So I think anything's good with zucchini bread, let's be honest. But this, this one has the sweetness, but I think you get that savoriness of the gingerbread that tones down that sweetness a little bit. I actually think um, these would also be really good with maybe mocha doodle, hug in a mug, which I don't like because it's, I don't like chocolate and wax. Um, gosh, there was another one I was thinking about, but these might be mixed in. Um, coming in January is Bring Back My Bar, and I believe coffee tree or no perk me up I think it's perk me ups coming back these I think would be really good in a coffee blend so one to one cube in the same warmer I don't think I've done every other warmers before but usually I like in the same warmer so it meshes and molds and becomes its thing so now my favorite one as you know my absolute love well one of my absolute loves in wax is peppermint any kind of candy cane, peppermint, buttermint, spearmint. I like mints. This one, really, really good. So if you are not a mint fan, you'd probably like this because it is, once again, insanely sweet. I mean, it was, it was way too sweet in my opinion. So for me, I want to get, um, and I might have it, I did an inventory of my wax yesterday. I had to expand my wax drawers or holders because I, I've grown so much wax. Anyway, I want to mix this with perfect peppermint because I think for me, that is going to give the perfect level of peppermint and the creaminess of the buttercream. So I'm going to put this in my club. I'm, I am going to order um, some more, not in the collection, I'll save the collections for you guys if they sell out or, or whatever. I don't want to take that opportunity away from you by ordering it and then what am I going to do with this um because it is an amazing gift I think in the cute little box I think it's it'd be a perfect office gift if you have like let's say a $25 limit the kit's 26 bucks I think it would make a great gift but for me I just think the scent circle is worthless and I know I'm not the only one who has had that experience um anyway but uh this I want to take this, mix this with Perfect Peppermint and see what I think. If that is going to have the right amount of sweet creaminess from the buttercream, but that enhanced kind of peppermint scent. So that's what I want to try with this one. So maybe on my next warm review, we can go through um, any mixes that I may have done with these and see, see what I get. So I know I have some Mocha Doodle 
I don't know if I have hug and a bug because I don't like it. So if I had gotten it, it would have been a fluke. But uh, I know I have one thing of mocha doodles. So anyway, before we get started in, in the mixes or in, in my basket. Okay, look at this. It's orange dream sickle. So yes, I like monsters. And I know they're not healthy, so you can come at me. I, I honestly don't care. But uh, this is so good. It tastes like an orange crush with maybe, speaking of mixes, mixed with maybe a little bit of cream soda because you've got that creaminess and then that orange crush. So good. I saw it yesterday at Winco and had to give it a go. All right. Pookie. I finished up a counter clean. I don't go through counter cleans very often. It's not that I don't wash my counters. I just don't think about grabbing it. I, I will be completely honest about that. Um, I just don't think about grabbing my counter clean and wiping it down. I usually use um, my sponge or, or whatever, which I know is teeming with bacteria, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, this was in squeeze the day. Very, very good. I'm, I had, I washed my kitchen floors with it. I have like a poster stamp kitchen. So wash the kitchen floors with this. Um, and a crocheted wash rag I made. Very, very good. I'm, I have make a splash out right now. So I did that. That might be actually, oh, there's my thing for the useless scent circle. That might be the only oddball. Okay. Look what I finished. So this was, um, something I bought on a D stash. I'll cover her information here. So this came out in brick form prior to me starting in Scentsy. And I had heard such good things about this that I, I wanted to try it myself. So I did find it, someone who was de-stashing there. So salted caramel toffee, so good. Obviously gooey. It is, it's just such a good caramely toffee blend. Very, very nice, yum, 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 love it. So I finished that off. Let me take these bags out so I can do the Scentsy first. Okay, this I have going today. I mixed it. <laughs> okay, my house did not smell very good for a while. So I, I was doing my inventory yesterday. Here, I'll kind of move out of the way here. So I ended up having to expand into here. So now I have all of those. Um... And then these two here, this, oh wait, no. These are my bricks. I did rebag them into polypropylene bags out of their brick clamshells. So they're in there because um, it the stuff oozes, let's be honest. And then this is my um, licensed bars and then I have more licensed bars here. So I had to expand because I have a bit too much. Oh, Pookie. Here's Pookie. There is my Pookie bear. See, this is Pookie. Here, put her face up. There's my Pookie. My little calico. Okay, so back to this. So during inventory, um, well, I just bought this on the flash sale. So walnut raisin muffin. This was before my time. So I got one and it smells really good. It's a touch spicy. But I thought it was really good. But because it was a bit spicy and um, I had a migraine. And you saw in the video when I did my Sassy Girl Aroma, it did end up going to the ER and I did get, end up getting injections to combat the headache. So sometimes that's just how it goes. So I thought, well, I really don't want to get another nasty headache. So I am going to tone this down. And I had, and I thought since I did really like that scent, I would tone it down with maybe something I don't like. Cookies for Santa. I hate this scent. I just dropped a piece down my shirt. Uh, excuse me. Okay. I cannot stand this scent. So now my house stinks like cookies for Santa. And it's like, I don't know, three o'clock or something. So I'm not going to change my wax out, but... Yeah, that's my last cookies for Santa. I'm sorry for those who like this scent. I cannot stand this scent. I just think it's nasty. Alrighty, what else do we got here? 
a very merry cranberry. We're coming into cranberry season for me. And I have a lot of cranberry garland. I had nine. I'm, I only melted one so far, so I have eight. So I thought I would branch out and melt uh, my very merry cranberry, which is a beautiful cranberry scent. I don't know if it's in catalog. Sorry, I just, I don't. It's very good, loved it. Cranberry garland, still my favorite. Um, those are the bathroom blends, so we'll put those there. I did two, I thought I did. Hmm, maybe not. Warm pumpkin drizzle. So warm pumpkin drizzle is a great scent, but for me, it is insanely light. Um, I swore I did two. I thought I did two of these because it's so light. I one bar doesn't do it. Even two bars doesn't really do it. So this one is not going to make the cut. It's a nice scent, but too light. At work, I did spiced apple chestnut. And this is a good scent. It has that, uh, like marshmallow fireside kind of fiery smoky scent to it. So it's a very good scent. It does have that smokiness to the scent. So if you don't like scents that have a smoke to it, I really wouldn't recommend spiced apple chestnut. It might be in clearance. I don't know. It's from last year's scent of the season. I did an alternating warmers on this one, maple rum cake and maple vanilla drizzle. So I was kind of trying to determine, actually might not have even been alternating, might have been different rooms, trying to determine if I want to put these in my club. So maple vanilla drizzle has a definite spice note, whereas I think maple rum cake has more of a cake note. It, you can smell a hint of spice, but the maple vanilla glaze definitely has a spice note. They're both very good. That one's uh, maple vanilla drizzle seems, is that what it was? Glaze. Seems to have more maple than this one. And I think that's because this has that cake note in it that I rather like. But I have decided that neither are going to make the cut for club. I keep my club rather small. I have quarterly and I have a monthly. Monthly is basically just enough to get my whiff box half price and my quarterly is only at like 150 bucks so um i do keep them rather small uh so th those aren't going to make the cut the next combo i did and this was one to one cube because i did orchard apple and spice fantastic scent from last year's harvest collection really really good love the apple in here but the spice ends up being way too heavy. Last year, I thought they were, since he was very heavy handed in their spice. This season, they're not heavy handed in their spice and I'm enjoying the scents a lot more. But because of that, I mixed it with Johnny Appleseed, just one to one cube. It enhanced the apple. I still got that spice. So to me, it was a very, very good combination. And it was my way of reducing the spice loads at work. So the front desk has been melting my testers, um, but I told them that they can go ahead and chuck them. Um, since I'm not up at the front desk anymore, um, they either warm it at the desk or in, in the bathroom. Um, I'm not going to be able to speak on the scent because I'm not up there to smell it. This one. Okay. I chose coastal sunset for the waiting area in dispatch. It was so strong. It, and I just did one in one warmer, one in the other. I have two warmers in the waiting area. And it was so strong it overtook my office. So very beautiful, lovely scent, but just really not a scent for me. Oh, hey, Car Bar. Car Bar and Snow Kiss Cranberry. Really good, but Car Bars don't last for me. I don't know why. I don't get good longevity out of my Car Bars. I usually only get a day or two. Um, not sure why. I just, they don't work for me. In my bathroom here, I have um, cashmere and corduroy. Such a beautiful, just sultry, soft, feminine scent. Very, very good. Um, to me, the perfect bathroom kind of scent. Laundry room, I'm going to want more of a linen kind of scent, but in my bathroom, I love this just soft, feminine scent. And then... Um, I'll have that in for a few days and then I'll alternate with something else. And I've been alternating it with blue sage and tonka. 
And I have two fragrance flowers going at work of this scent. So I'll be honest, I'm a little kind of over this scent at this point, because every time I walk into our area where I have two fragrance flowers, I walk through it every single day and I'm like, Ugh. so I'm getting a little tired of the scent, but it is really good. It's a, just a nice, soft, masculine scent, but it is a soft scent. The fragrance flowers are boomers. They're doing fantastic. I have one in the traveler, it's the traveler's bathroom. Um, and then one just in the traveler waiting area. So anyway, that is what I got through with regards to Scentsy. So now we'll go ahead and get started in our vendor wax. Let me get this off my lap. All right, in here I've been trying to go through some of my, um, the samples that come in these sizes. Hi, Pookie. I'm gonna say hi, everybody. Say hi, Pookie Bear. See the Pookie Bear. Hi, Boo. Um, okay, so under the mistletoe, Sassy Girl Aroma. Most of these are Sassy Girl Aroma. So very, very nice. It is a beautiful tree mistletoe kind of scent. In here, I can kind of go back and forth, back and forth. I'm not like in this room to where it's going to give me a headache. I can get my tree as I'm walking through. So very, very good. Really recommend until the mistletoe was not insanely strong. I just take this, pop it in the warmer. Okay, Sassy Girl pumpkin or carving pumpkin. Yeah, just was a pumpkin scent with a little bit of spice, but mainly just kind of a pumpkin gut scent. Performed pretty well. Made to melt in peach. This one smells really good, but it's not very strong and it didn't seem to last very long. And I don't know why it, if it's maybe the room because of the other scents in here, because I have my Scentsy, or if it's just more of a softer scent, but it is a very pretty scent, just a little soft. This one I accidentally dropped in wax. This was Look Into the Stars, Sassy Girl Aroma. Um, kind of, a, I think, a linen, maybe a linen perfume scent. It seemed to perform okay. Harper James Wax in Maple Bourbon. I don't like bourbon scents. This one was okay, actually, because it's not, to me, it wasn't heavy on the bourbon. It was more heavy on the sweet maple. So I actually, I rather like this, even though I don't like a bourbon scent, I think because the maple just kind of gave it this um, sweetness that I actually rather liked it. And then the last little guy was made to melt persimmon citron. And the persimmon is very tart. Um, almost, you know, makes your mouth kind of pucker, kind of tart. So it's okay, I liked it. Um, probably not one I would order though, just because I'm not sure that I would like the persimmon. So I finished at work. Um, I don't know if I mixed it with anything. I was thinking I did, but now I can't think of. So this is the case of the Mondays by the Melted Moose. And I use, um, I use it in three slices. So this is salted caramel zucchini bread and hot coffee. Such a good, good scent. Because for me, it's not like slap you in the face coffee. It is a beautiful, rich coffee. Almost like you can drink it, not like liquid, but like a cream kind of beverage with that zucchini bread. And, oh, it is so good. So if you like a good, rich coffee scent, Case of the Mondays is fantastic. All right, this one I did a mix of, and that was best ever carrot cake mixed with sweet potato brown sugar. I did this mix because I don't like sweet potatoes. I thought I used to like the scent, but I have found that I'm not keen on sweet potatoes. So they're both K scented melts. But if you've never tried her best ever carrot cake, you need to, because it's seriously a really good carrot cake. You have that, um, the spiciness of a carrot cake, the richness of like a zucchini bread or a carrot cake. So good. And then you get a little bit of that sweetness from maybe like a cream cheese type frosting, but not the milk note of a cream cheese frosting. So maybe a 
powdered sugar glaze or something on it. Very, very good. So it made this sweet potato brown sugar actually pretty good because I mixed it with the carrot cake because the carrot cake is so good. All right. And then the last one in the clamshells is Kay's Toasted Monkey Pie from her recent um, fall sampler. So the thing with this one, it's monkey bread, toasted mallow, and coconut cream pie. It's really good, but I wish there was more variance to, to the scent. It's just like a creamy blend. Um, there, there doesn't seem to be any um, base notes, mid notes, top notes. It's just kind of this one solid scent. So I almost wish it was maybe a little heavier in the monkey bread and a little lighter in maybe the toasted mallow. I don't know, personal preference. It does smell very nice. I just wish, I wish it was more. But I think mixed with, well actually, you know, it would be really good. That one mixed with her best ever carrot cake. Okay, bags. I've been trying to get through some of my little sampler or samples. So in my crock right now, I have going Jack-O-Lantern by Sugar Melt Spice Stacy. Uh, it's just a souffle. Uh, it's just, it's, I, I don't know what's in it because this is before she put set notes on it. It was just such a lovely, beautiful bakery scent. And then I put it in the same day I put in the best ever carrot cake. Oh, it was just yumminess throughout my house. So really enjoyed Jack-O-Lantern but I can't tell you what the notes are because I'm really not that good. Okay. Christmas Yet to Come by Ella Ever After. And this was a bunch of different little shapes. And this is gingerbread cookies, holiday spices, vanilla, and coffee. So this was poured um, last December. So this one smells really good in the bag. But I don't know if I was having an off day in my house because I really didn't smell it. And usually I can pick out coffee blends. Um, coffee isn't really on my high list right now. I think I coffeed myself out. And so I'm having to take a break from coffee. And it just, it honestly wasn't very strong and it wasn't memorable. So um, I do need to melt more of my Ella after I heard that sometimes her longevity is right at a year. So this one, Tim did not like it all. Cranberry Apple Sweater Weather by Rose Girls. He was like, no, what's that perfume scent? It's so, it's okay, hella strong, like epically strong. But it's sweater weather mixed with that cranberry and apple but it's a sweater weather blend. It's amazing, but it is very strong. I mean, this one, I used the whole bag. So it could have been that I had it way too strong for him. I mean, seriously, you could taste the air. It was so strong, but it was so, so delicious. Very, very good blend. Loved it. This one. <laughs> okay, Tim also hated this one. So... This was Sassy Wax Melts. And I took all the ones that were in the bakery bags and put them in Poly Pro bags um, with a, put the label in here. So this is Winter Candy Apple. Uh, so it's Vermont Apple, Honey Apple Pears, Oranges, Pineapple, Cinnamon, and French Vanilla. So I put this one in. And I'm not sure if you know that Sassy Wax Melts base I think comes out in her wax so all her wax seems to have the same undertone um so whatever her wax itself its blend is comes out in all her wax so Tim goes outside and he comes back inside and he goes it smells like stink bugs in here and I'm like no it doesn't so if you don't know what a stink bug is, is they're little beetly things that come out in the fall. We had a, a very warm fall until we got the snow a week ago, but, and now it's, you know, fairly warm again, but they come out in the warm fall weather. And our house was coated in these stink bugs. And then there's a couple other little beetle guys that come out during that season. But, uh, I'm like, this does not smell like stink bugs. So now I don't know how I'm going to melt sassy wax melts. I love her, her wax, but if he's going to say that they all smell like stink bugs. So that was kind of a wah-wah. 
I felt so bad. Anyway, one of my favorite from Sassy Girl Aroma, Glacier. If you've never smelled this, it's epically delicious. Mm. I love after dinner mints and that's exactly what this smells like because I think it's, yeah, peppermint, sugar, and light butter. So it's buttermint. Smells exactly like after dinner mints. Love it, love it, love it. It's strong, it's beautiful, it's delicious, it's creamy, it's really good. So if you've never tried Glacier from Sassy Girl Aroma, you need to. It is perfection. Next one I melted in my bathroom, or no, my laundry room. I had just one little piece left. It's from Made to Melt, and it's BVW, BWV, uh, Saltwater Mermaid. I have, I, I'm, yeah, I, I'm sure you guys will put down in, in the box what BWV is. This was a beautiful linen kind of scent for me. And my, my laundry room just smelled lovely. Whatever that is. And I, I'm sure it will come to me. But anyway, mixed with the saltwater mermaid was so delicious. It was the perfect strength. It was It was yummy. All right, next one. This was a loaf. I cut in half and put in my crock one day. Um... Well, a few days, it didn't last very long. And then I did another few days with the other half. So this is from the pharmacist daughter called Hole in One. It's zucchini bread, blackberry jam, and deli, jelly donut. Um, I didn't particularly care for this blend. It was not strong. It smells like the jelly donut over anything. And it, I had it in the crock. And sometimes uh, at the blends in the crock will last a week. Sometimes they only last a few days. This one only lasted just a couple, two, three days. So I did half and then I did the other half. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is, but I was honestly, I, and it might be because it's well over a year old. Maybe the jelly and the blackberry jam has come forward and left the zucchini bread, you know, way back there. Um, Cause I was really hoping for the zucchini bread and I didn't get it, so. This one I warmed yesterday and it's from The Melting Co, which I only ordered once. I only ordered a few things. This was just like a little mini loaf and it's called Wander. Peppermint, spearmint, freshly baked sugar cookies and whipped marshmallow cream. This was spearmint heavy. So if you don't like spearmint, I don't recommend it. I love spearmint, but it is definitely a spearmint forward blend. So like my favorite gum is spearmint. Um, I like spearmint, but if you don't, I really don't recommend it, but this, it, and it was very, very sweet because the spearmint mixed with the sugar cookie. I thought it was fantastic. The throw was really strong. Um, I loved it, but I will warn you, it is spearmint forward. All right. So now let's get into some of these little Little guys I've been trying to get through. I just take the bags and stick them in a plastic bag. All right, Grinchmas. So Grinchmas from K Scented Melts. I don't remember. I honestly don't. I was thinking this was like a sugar cookie with some pine, but I don't smell any pine in it, but I got through that. Uh, cranberry marmalade, spiced apples, and peaches. Today is October 3rd. Most of these, well, a lot of these are going to be that because of that um, sampler I bought. So this one I thought was really good, but to me it is more the cranberry marmalade. Today is October 3rd. I don't know that I smell any kind of peaches or spiced apple, but I did think it was nice. What are you doing, Pookie Bear? Uh, Mac Apple Mallow Fireside Cranberry Woods. I love a good cranberry woods, but it has to be blended with something sweet because otherwise the wood note's a bit too strong. And this is really good. It is a strong wood note, but I think the Mar Mallow Fireside with Cranberry Woods, you get that fiery kind of wood scent. So I thought this one was actually quite nice and the Mac Apple wasn't heavy. So I liked that. Cinnamon Roll Maple Buttercream. It's just, yeah, a cinnamon roll. Um, next one. Oh, this one was so good. I melted this in my bathroom or in my bedroom. Rosemary Mint Aveda type. 
Oh, I love this scent. Mm, there's, I love the smell of rosemary, running my hand along a rosemary plant, just like I do a, a lavender plant. This, th this Aveda type rosemary mint is delightful. It was just lovely in my bedroom. Um, Christmas cookie therapy, not my favorite cookie therapy blend. Because Christmas cookie therapy, if I recall, has eggnog in it. So there's that. All right, cinnamon chai, cinnamon oatmeal cookies, Mexican fried ice cream. I'm sure we've all told Jennifer, please put commas in her, her blends, but this one, honestly, I don't really remember. I'm sure it was a cinnamon forward blend. <clears throat> um, last one for K's or for um, L3 is cashmere and cotton. I warm this in my laundry room. So I have a little bag of like laundry room scents that I have in, in my laundry room. I just pluck one out. So, so this is, it's a nice cottony cashmere kind of blend. <clears throat> Obviously, you know, those aren't really my thing. So um, from K Scented Melts, Santa's Pajamas. And this is flannel, autumn flannel, snickerdoodle and pine cone. So I was nervous about this one because of the pine cone. And it was actually really good. Um, I could see how it could be headache inducing if I had it in my whole house. But in this room, just kind of going back and forth, heading to the bathroom, going back out or, you know, doing something in here. It was really good. I actually really enjoyed that one. And then I have from Barrett's Wax Crafts. Um, his, it was a, a wax sample of pure lavender and cool spearmint. And I'm not sure if I ordered, I might have ordered this in the recent pre-order too. So, so good. His lavender is authentic and real. I mean, it, this is what I've been looking for in my lavenders, not some kind of fake oily stuff, real beautiful lavender. And that's what I get with this is a real beautiful lavender. I just think it's just lovely. And then the very last one is Cranberry Wreath by Pharmacist's Daughter. And this has the cranberry with some kind of a pine or fir or tree. Let's put it some kind of a tree. And I think it is really lovely. Um, not something I could put in my whole house, as we know, but I do think it's awesome. So that's what I got through um, quite a bit, I think, in the last two weeks. Um, sometimes I just, I still had this on my desk. Sometimes I just come in here just to smell the container. I really need to order some more of this. This was the sinus relief. So good. Yep, still sitting there. Um, update on the headaches. I was finally approved for Botox for migraines. So I get my injections on 12-6. So I have to wait a little bit of time, but I was approved. I had to appeal um, the denial um, I had only documented one, uh, I had done the emgality injections and it didn't work, but talking with my primary, I had actually tried seven different preventative medications over the last several years. So I was approved. I'm very excited. I'm really hopeful that it works. So anyway, update on the headache. That's what it is. We're going to try the Botox for migraines and I guess it's injections all over your head so we'll see how it goes I, I we should inject right in here and get rid of my lines right anyway thanks for uh, sitting with me for quite a while going through my empties and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye